This is 30, 10, 10, 10. Uh, if you want a better view, then it is also live on YouTube. This camera is the YouTube camera. So first you need to separate your 30 into your layers. You need a layer of seven. Seven for crossword one. Seven for cross weave two, and then the rest are the pom poms. Um, I meant to say this tutorial makes that blanket the original design with the solid back. So you need to put your. So I put the layers where in the order I'm going to use them, where it's easier to just grab them. These are 100 grams and the length is 300 meters. I always take the end out. I don't I don't pull from the middle um, and I don't use both ends at the same time. It just causes tangling that you don't need. We'll put that end away. <laughs> so I'm just putting these there because that they're what I'm going to use first. So that seven, the first seven is cross weave one and the seam. Is it where you can see me? <laughs> Got me rubber indoor shoes on. This seven is cross weave two. I usually have this done before I go live or start a video, but this is for the purposes of YouTube. 
Um, and I don't know how to add subtitles. I'll see if I can do that later. So we've got seam and cross weave one, cross weave two. All of these are pom poms, 16. You can use more, but for this design, I just use 16. This blanket is going to be exactly the same as the pale rose that I just posted. Already tangled and I've not even started. <laughs> As soon as all the ends of these are out, then um, I'll change the angle and we'll start. <laughs> This um, thing is so stupid. <laughs> it doesn't really like the weight of my phone. Right. Um, so to start, you need a seam. Take your first group of seven. First group of seven. Tying onto this, the very bottom corner nail. To tie it, you just tie it on like you was tying the first tie of your shoelace. You can double tie it if you want. It doesn't need double tying. Um, 
So you're going to take this over to the next nail, straight up to the corresponding nail at the top. You're going to go back one nail, down one nail. So you're kind of making a square around these three corner nails. You're going to come over to this corner. You're going to go around the three nails at the top there. Making a square, come straight down to the bottom. Around the bottom three, you're making a square again. So you're going to take that, just brings you back. You're going to do that pattern again one more time. So I pull the seam quite tight because it's the, it's your, it holds your blanket together, kind of. It doesn't, but it does. It keeps the shape. Right. When you get back to the beginning after the second time, cut it. Tight onto the corner nail that you started on. So just like if you're starting to tie your shoelace, it doesn't need to be an impressive fishing knot or whatever. It's not holding the universe together. So, this arm's not great, but. Oh my gosh. This is going to take forever. Right. <laughs> so for your first cross weave layer, tie into your top corner nail. Take it over to the next nail. And you're going to come down diagonally to this second nail on your vertical side. Down one nail, up vertically to the third nail and across to the next nail. Down, over two nails, up to the top, over two nails, down over two nails, up, over two nails, down, two nails. You're gonna just carry on until you get to the bottom corner. Now, obviously, this tutorial will be in two parts because it's, well, it would be possible to sit and tie it all in one day, but then it would be a 16-hour live, and I don't have 16 hours in me. <laughs> so, let's just move it out of the way. I don't want it to 
like it looks like it's gonna fall there. This was a good idea when it was in my head. We're just following the same pattern. can't really make a mistake, every nail should have a line coming from it, basically. When you get to your bottom corner, you're going to go around three nails, like you did for the seam. And you're going to come back on yourself, and you're going to follow the lines that you've already made, and go back up to the top corner where you started. On this layer, it should be filling in your gaps. So these gaps should be getting filled. You're going to do this back to the top and then back down again. So three times for cross weave one. See the gaps are being filled. <laughs> Try and move this back again without it uh, falling off. How many meters? These ones are 300 meters. I usually use 330 and I would go around four times, but these are not 330, so. Right, I'm gonna have to just not touch that um, again. So yeah, this is the second time round.
We're not really going round, are we? We're going side to side. <laughs> And it's, you can't really make a mistake if you go over the wrong nail. The lines are not going to follow each other. The lines need to go over the lines that you've already made. You don't need any new lines. I've just done it myself. You don't need loads of tension because when you tie it, it's going to get tighter as well. So just bear that in mind. But you don't want to put it on too loose because you want definitive lines that you can see. Get back to the top corner, doing the same as you did at the bottom, around the three at the top, and then you're going to come back on yourself, following the lines that are already there. Back down for a final turn to this corner. Just keep pushing it down as you're adding it to the frame. Weird without music, but I'm not allowed music on on YouTube. <laughs>
when you get to this corner. Cut it off. Don't use these scissors because they are massive. <laughs> Tie it on the corner nail. In the same way you tied it on. So this is left from cross weave one, but you need this to fill out your pom pom layer. So put it to one side. You need it to tie it as well. Right, cross weave two. Get your next group of seven. Right, there's ten. <laughs> Hating these camera angles. <laughs> Top opposite corner, corner nail. Tight on. Over to the next nail. Down, diagonally to the, the nail diagonally facing, down one, up, over two nails, down, over two nails, up, over two, down, over two, up, over two, down, over two, up, over two. So it's the same pattern, it's just going the opposite way. This one, you're going to do three and a half times. You're going to go until this runs out. It might do four times. Sometimes it only does three and a half. So that's down, back, down, and then halfway. Just keep going until you've literally got bare minimum of this layer left. I didn't get my bottle of water out of the freezer. It'll be frozen solid. <laughs> Sorry, I can't scroll back to read the comments because um, my iPad is literally balancing. It'll fall and smash if I touch it. <laughs> If you put your step counter on while you're doing it, probably make your daily steps making one blanket. <laughs> Just putting it on the frame.
when you get to the corner around the three and come back on yourself following the lines you've already made my tutorials that are already on youtube are probably way better than this i know the angles are better <laughs> but they don't have subtitles that's the point of this one so i can add subtitles for people who don't understand what i'm saying in the other tutorials much better. I'm sure it just moved because of the weight of the phone. Keep pushing the wall down. Keep making sure your frame is against the wall at the top. If it's not, just pull the bottom nails out until it's level again. If you don't keep checking, it's going to twist and snap. If you need to make a frame, I have a frame video on TikTok in the series. This is the second time round. Again, when you come back on this layer, you're filling in these gaps of the first layer. Um, it'll just give you nice, even pom-poms, uh, even pom-poms, even tassels. You can use more wool than this as well. Um, you can use as much wool as you want. You can make it as heavy as you want. But I would say minimum that it works with is 28 maybe. It's not gonna be... Yeah, 28 would do it, but I use 30. For this design. Around the top three to come back on yourself. You're just following the lines that you've already made. Keep 
keep pushing it down. Especially if you're using more wool, make sure you're always pushing it down. Making a blanket. Going around the bottom three and coming back for the fourth time. This layer doesn't usually make it all the way back. So just keep going till the wool runs out or until it's all tangled and difficult to work with. 
because the middle bits will start to come out soon. It's going to make me a liar now and just go all the way to the top, but normally it doesn't. So when you get back to the nail you started on, just tie it onto that nail. Add what's left of this to your tying pile. Right, you ready for the pom pom layer? No, that's left. I'll use that to tie first um, before those bigger ones. So take your pom pom layer 16.
16. Turn to the second nail, not the bottom corner, the next nail. Tie it all on. And go straight to the top over two nails. Oh, I've got a head rush then. Straight to the top over two nails, down over two nails, or across two nails, up across two nails, down across two nails. Up. and keep going until you get to the corner that top corner Make sure you keep checking those on the floor because if the other end sneaks out and works its way in with this, it's going to be hard to, it's not hard to undo, it's just awkward, it's loads of messing about. It's easier to keep your eye on them and push them back in as they pop out. This is going to be my longest YouTube video ever. Actually, part two might be even longer. Wool delivery. So it's up over two, down over two, up over two, down over two. Same as the cross weave, but you're not going diagonally. You go in vertically. And then when you get to the top second nail, you're gonna make the same pattern we made on the seam and go around three and come across over two, across. Over two, across, over two. Every nail should have a line coming from it. So if you've got, if you did this, no line there, you could do that without noticing and then you'll come to tie and it'll be unfixable. So just be aware. So we're gonna go down till you get to the corner. You're gonna make the pattern of three and you're gonna come back and you'll be doing vertical again. So this is the second time 
for the pom pom layer. Second time round, except we're not going round. Well, we kind of are this time because it's continuous. This is the layer where you get your squats in. The pom pom layer. You should call it the squat layer. I think I counted once and I did something like 240 something squats. Just keep kind of combing it through your fingers as well. Make sure they're all as straight as each other. <laughs> Corner around three nails, straight up to the top. This time you're gonna go that way. But you're still following the lines that are already there. We don't need extra lines. Could you ever skip the gym today? I started to get tired. <laughs> And warm.
Yeah, this would be considered a third time round. So we're gonna do five and a half because it doesn't quite make six. And that's why you need the extra from cross weave one to fill it out at the bottom. You'll see what I mean when I get to that part. I really hope you can add subtitles to this, otherwise it would have all been for nothing. <clears throat> Corner around three. Coming across. Following the lines we've already got. It should also be filling in these gaps. It doesn't really matter so much on the pom-pom layer, unless you're gonna leave some of the pom-pom layer to make a thicker tassel. But if you're not doing that, it doesn't matter. What's this four layer, layer four, four times round? I'm making a blanket. This blanket, to be exact, same colour, same design. So that's the pom pom side, and this is the cross weave side. <laughs> that's what that's going to be. Thank you for the rose. Message me on Instagram or Facebook to order your own or see my tutorials on YouTube to make one. If you do have tutorials on TikTok, they're just really far down in the videos. You'd have to do a lot of scrolling to find it. How long so they take 12 to 22 hours depending on the design this designs around 16 hours it's not going to be finished in this live anyway <laughs>
could put some workout music to it and be like, and squat, and squat, and double up, double up on the videos. It can be workout, workout craft videos. How about that? So we went round the three and we came back up to do the fifth time round. <clears throat> I'm actually getting out of breath now. Thanks for the follows. I mean, they would make good room dividers if you kept it on the frame. Just it's a bit big. Or sound panels for a super cute studio. That's because I'm not there. Top corner around three, back across. This is the last layer. And this is when all the ends start to pop out. So like, like that. You want to tuck them in <laughs> as much as you can because you don't want them getting in the way. His shoes remind me of that, um, I don't know why, the duck on YouTube, the duck that goes to the lemonade stand and he says, hey, got any grapes? <laughs> now that song's going to be stuck in there. Hey, bum, bum, bum. <laughs> If the ends do start to come out, just slow down 
and it should let you keep going without it tangling as long as you don't start flipping them over each other and stuff. This is just making me out to be a liar. It's going to go all the way to the bottom for six, which normally it doesn't. Look, I mean, I'm not complaining, but usually I have to do loads of messing about to make sure it's all even. And this time I'm not going to have to do that, which is good. So when you get to the end, cut it. Add what's left to your tying pile and tie this onto the corner nail. So, like I said, it doesn't have to be no Boy Scout knot. You're not holding the universe together. When you tie the blanket together, the knots on the edges and on the nails are irrelevant anyway. Um, I'm going to show how to tie it, but I can't move this iPad. So, if you want a better view, just jump over to my YouTube channel. And it's live there too. Um, the channel is in my bio. Otherwise, just watch old tutorials. So that's all your layers added on. Again. I'm just going to have to pick one where the camera isn't going to let me, so. <laughs> so this cross section here, you're tying that to that cross section at the back. So all of these together. And that's not really a good angle. So you need to do your leftovers. Make sure everything is in line with your nail. It's going to be difficult because it's in my way. Um, if it stayed there, it'd be perfect. Might have to tie one of these. So. You're going in through the top right corner and you're taking the piece of wool out through this bottom left corner all the way through to the back. Again, you're tying that cross section to that cross section. Each of these cross sections has a matching cross section behind it. You want to tie every single cross section together. I'm only tying this one because it's easier for the camera angle. Usually I would start at the top in that corner and work my way down in lines. But, so you're tying it once. Normal tie, like you're starting to tie your shoelaces. You're gonna make a knot. Take this long piece down in this bottom left corner and up through this top right corner. 
I think I got right and left opposites before, but you can see what I'm doing. Tie it. Pull it till the wool squeaks. Not it. And then cut it off. I'll do that again. We'll do the one above. This is really awkward. <laughs> so top left, top left, bottom right. Think of these diamonds. So like, it's hard to see because it's not all tied, but Top diagonal corner, bottom right diagonal corner. Tie it. Tie a knot in it. You need to be holding it where it is as well because it doesn't hold itself. Take this through this bottom left corner and you bring it out through the top right. You can make a shuttle, you can buy a shuttle that you can tie with, you can make one, you can use a crochet needle to tie. Um, I just don't do it that way, it's easier for me just doing it this way. You can use a continuous knot. If you're going to use a continuous knot, you don't tie on this side, you tie on the back. Because if you tie it on this side, when you cut your pom-poms, you're cutting through your strings and so your continuous knot is a waste of time the whole thing is just going to fall apart <laughs> so i don't know if that, how clear that is i'm good thanks for coming from tiktok <laughs> um sorry about these camera angles tiktok but it's just disgraceful isn't it <laughs> right tie another one so Can't even zoom, I don't think. Oh, you can zoom? Go on. Right. So. You can see where you're going to go when this one's, these ones are tied. It's already easier to see. So we're going in this top left little diamond. And you're going to come through the bottom opposite right little diamond. Little diamond. And then you're going to tie it. Pull it tight. The wool doesn't always squeak. Hold it in place while you're pulling your knot on it. Then you're going to take the long piece through this bottom left diamond, straight through to the back and around the seam, through this top, back through the top. Tie it together. Pull it tight. Hold it in place and then knot it. When you pull in the wool, if you pull it really fast, it's going to snap. You need to pull it slowly and slowly and firmly. So, yeah, if you pull it too quick, it's going to snap. I'll try and show you. So, through the top, out the bottom, tie it. Pull it too quick, snaps. If you, where have you just come from? So yeah, you need to be, if it snaps, you need to cut off about this much and get rid of that where it snapped because it will be weaker. That's the other thing, if you pull it too fast and it doesn't snap, it's still going to be weakened. You don't want it weakened. So, just nice. And... Nice and firmly but slowly. You're still showing it who's boss. You don't need to rip it. <laughs> So 
So if you pull it slowly to the squeak, that's tight enough. But like I say, it doesn't always squeak. So, <coughs> so that's how to tie. And now every single cross section all the way around needs tying. So that's part one, guys. I'm going to tie it all and then I'm going to come back. So it's going to take me about 12 hours to tie it. Um, so please don't comment part two, what's next, because when it's tied, then I'll show what's next. I can't show what's next until it's all tied. But um, thanks for watching. Um, and yeah.